Hey there, um, this is a quick vlog. I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a channel update, uh, show some uh, gifts that were sent to me by Mr. Anonymous, and uh, do a quick little DVD Blu-ray update, and uh, th then that'll be it. Uh, mainly, I wanted to do this video to let you guys know that I am not going to be available uh, for most of the, for the rest of the day, pretty much, because I'm going to be busy. So, uh, and I'm going to be doing stuff and not just, you know, doing whatever, you know, chores or doing reviews. No, I'm actually going to head out pretty soon so I can make sure I get to the theater early and on time so I can get a good seat for the epic double feature that I'm going to be witnessing tonight at the Hollywood Theater in Portland. And... This is the same theater where I saw the Monster Squad in 35mm with Fred Decker in attendance. The same theater where I saw The Fly, 1986, the remake with uh, Chris Wallace in attendance, also in 35mm. It's also where I saw Aliens. And so now I'm going to see A Nightmare on Elm Street. Wes Craven's A Nightmare on Elm Street, the original. A Nightmare on Elm Street, the 1984 classic, in the theater, in 35mm, the way it was seen by audiences back in 1984 when the film was released. And not only that, I am also going to see A Nightmare on Elm Street Part 2, Freddy's Revenge, in the same theater, and that will also be in 35mm. And that was a surprise, because uh, the theater actually wasn't planning on showing a Freddy's Revenge. But apparently the studio sent them a print, a 35 uh, a 35mm print of Freddy's Revenge as well. So it's like a bonus. I paid like 8 bucks for my ticket. And I, I'm probably going to spend a little bit extra in term, you know, for like a bus pass. But really, it's totally worth it. Two movies, two classics. Uh... I can't wait. This is going to be awesome. I'm really looking forward to this. And um, not only that, it seems like I'm going to have an opportunity to also see John Carpenter's Halloween at the Kiggins Theater, which is uh, closer to me. That one's like, I can take a bus and for free to get down there. So I'm going to go check that out either tomorrow night or maybe Sunday or, or maybe even Halloween. Maybe even Halloween, even Monday night. Um, so, cause that might be kind of fun, actually, to go see Halloween on Halloween. But anyway, I uh, just wanted to let you guys know that, because that's, that's why I'm going to be home pretty late. I'm not going to be really, really there to reply to your, your, uh, to leave any comments on any of my videos. I'm not really, I'm not really going to be there to like or reply to them. If you follow me on Facebook, that's why I'm not going to be on, is because I'm going to be watching, uh, the first two Nightmare on Elm Street films, and, um, do, do me a favor, and if any douchebags start trolling, just, you know, police the, the thing, or, you know, be the police for me for a little bit tonight, because I can't, I can't really, I, I can't, I can't stop it, I, I can't do anything about it, so, um, I don't think I'll have any problems with that anyway, but, uh, you know, if there is any sort of issues, take care of it for me, please, thank you, but anyway, um, as for the channel, I'm I'm behind in reviews because I've been trying to study for my math test. I've been trying to do all this stuff with math, and you know I I'm gonna get I'm not going to be able to get to the franchise reviews that I want to do this month. That's just way too much. And but I will do it. I'm gonna. So my plan is I'm gonna get all caught up. I've watched like eight different horror films lately, and I've watched them all. I just haven't recorded the reviews. So, next up, expect reviews of They, Darkness Falls, Night Light, Lights Out. So, I'm going to start doing, recording those, maybe when I get back from the showing tonight. Probably not. I'll start, maybe, I'll probably record them tomorrow and post reviews of They and uh, Darkness Falls. And then, you know, maybe the next day, Night Light and Lights Out, and then Arachnophobia, um... Kingdom of the Spiders, and 
eight-legged freaks. And then after that, I'm and it'll probably be all the way into November. But for the first week of November, I'm gonna do some horror franchises. I'm gonna review the Phantasm films and the Child's Play films, and maybe even throw in the Evil Dead franchise as well, and maybe throw in some Blu-ray reviews as well of stuff that people, uh, you know, movies that are reviewed already, like The Thing, uh, or Exorcist Three, but like do a video about it. We'll see what I what I decide to do um, when I get when I you know when I get there when I get to it. But uh, I just want to let you guys know that that's the whole plan, and um, I've been kind of behind on stuff, but there's a reason for it. But trust me, I'm gonna make up for it. I hope you guys enjoyed the latest videos that I've done. I know they're not really well known horror titles, but you know it's just I kind of like talking about movies like that anyway. So. That's all I have to say about the news. Um, I might do a talking cinema later about some trailers and stuff that I liked. Somebody asked me about Logan, the trailer for Logan. That surprised the hell out of me, and I really liked it. I love the use of Johnny Cash's song, Hurt. It was a very powerful, uh, very effective teaser. And um, it's actually made me really curious about a film that I honestly wasn't really curious about at all until I saw that trailer. But anyway, um, let's get started with the uh, mini DVD Blu-ray update. I'm going to start out with uh, the gifts from Mr. Anonymous, who's, you know who you are. He's uh, become a pretty good friend of mine, and he's very generous. And excuse me, that's just my stupid phone. I, I forgot to turn off the, the uh, alarm, so... <laughs> you know, to get to see my shirt that I'm going to wear uh, to the showing tonight, so. <laughs> but really, what the fuck? I mean, seriously. But uh, anyway, sorry for that distraction. But going back to you about Mr. Anonymous, he's a great friend. Um, he's a really nice guy, and uh, I really do appreciate this. This is very generous of him. So what he did is he sent me a few gifts. He sent me this which is really, really awesome for me personally, because this is a comic book that I grew up with. I used to check this comic book out all the time from the local library. And to actually have this in my possession is really, really cool. It's really nice. So this include this is Batman the Movies. It's a trade paperback that includes the comic book adaptations of the first four Batman films. Batman all the way to Batman and Robin. It doesn't include Batman Begins or The Dark Knight or Dark Knight Rises or Batman vs. Superman. It doesn't include any of that. But it does include Batman. And, um, of course, Batman Returns. And Part of me is thinking this is a recolor. Like, they recolored this? I need to do some research because I, I highly doubt... The original, I mean, just the artwork in this particular adaptation is 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 great, and I'm like, I, I part of me, I I just kind of don't buy that it's this good in the in the original uh, print, you know, the original uh, copy of the comic. But maybe, maybe not. And there's Batman Returns. So this is really, really cool. I, I really, this is something I've, I've always wanted because it's, it's a big part of my childhood. So. I read this, I checked this out countless times and read it countless times growing up. So to actually have a copy is really, really nice. And it's in good shape too. So anyway, uh, he also was very generous, continued the generosity, sent me Backdraft on Blu-ray, one of my all-time favorite films, and I know there's been a couple people have asked me to review this, maybe in November, maybe in November, because this is one of my favorite films, I did a review a long time ago, it was like 15 minutes, way too short, this is, this is one of my all-time favorite movies, 
to do a 15 minute review for this film is a disservice to this film and how much I love it. So if I ever get around to doing a review of this, the review will be however long it's going to be. I'm just going to I'm just going to tell you ahead of time. It's probably going to be fairly long and fairly lengthy uh, because it's going to be a definite review and retrospective. And then he also sent me because he actually pre-ordered this. And since he he says, you know, I, I was the one that introduced him to this film. I guess he decided to, out of the kindness of his heart, to send his pre-order to me. And, and uh, you know, I, I don't have words. I really don't. There's no words to express how much I really appreciate that. So he sent me Exorcist 3, the collector's edition from Scream Factory. So this is the two-disc set that has uh, the features and the theatrical cut and the director's cut of the film so I'm really looking forward to checking that out sometime so thanks a big thanks goes to Mr. Anonymous for those and also I will in the future there's a couple other I know uh, Joel who uh, sent me some stuff from uh, New Zealand or Australia I keep getting mixed up he sent me Razorback and Murphy's Law he asked me about a few other movies that he was getting rid of if I wanted, and he's going to send me those sometime. I know John Lindsay sent me messages about how he's going to send more stuff to me, and that's just, this this generosity is just, it's 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 unbelievable, and, and part of me is like, do I really deserve this? And, you know, I, and I'm, I'm not really, I don't really ask for it, it's just, you know, people offer it, and you know, I, I I accept their kindness. I mean, there are some instances where things didn't work out, but it is what it is. I mean, more times than not, I have people who, you know, pour out their heart and they want to give back to me in some way. And how they give back to me, I guess, is, you know, they send me things and I appreciate it. And I, I don't just appreciate just gifts. I appreciate your kind words uh, or just your subscription or you pressing the like button. So, um, any support I get for my channel and for what I like doing, I, I appreciate immensely. So, um, so yeah. And now we get into stuff that I bought for myself. And there's also other stuff that I, I um, ordered that I got from this Facebook group, but it's not here yet. So I gotta wait a little bit, you know, for shipping and things like that. Um, I picked up Grizzly finally uh, for like about eight bucks. This is for the two disc, the Shriek Show release, the one that's out of print. I got uh, a great deal on some hard to find DVDs for Habitat, Blind Date, not the Bruce Willis one, the Nico Mastriakis uh, film with uh, Kirstie Alley, and. Um, I'm trying to think of what the other one was. It was Habitat. It was Blind Date, and um, I guess I'll I guess I'll know when I get it because I completely just I, I I just I had a blank. I was like, what? Which one is it? What? <laughs> completely had a blank on that one. My bad. But anyway, uh, here we have some Vestron Video Collector series of chop, you know, Blu-rays, Chopping Mall. Yes, I I ended up getting this. I know it's chopping mall. It's these, and honestly, what I was talking about in that rant was a misunderstanding because Lionsgate apparently the only thing that's limited is these slip cases. Um, so there's a limited amount of of these Blu-rays that have these slip covers, but um, the Blu-rays themselves apparently aren't limited editions. So there's not like they're not limited to 5,000 copies. So they're not really copying Twilight Tom's model, and that's what I was worried about. And uh, apparently later I got some kind of confirmation that that's not what they were doing. And I just could not go without this. I mean, it's Choppy Mall. In in a, it looks great. It looks fantastic, and it's loaded with features. So um, and this is one of my favorite cult. B movies, so it, it was an absolute necessity, and I gotta be honest, Lionsgate and Vestron collect—they're—they're they're outdoing themselves right now. They're giving Screen Factory a run for their money 
with the the presentation of these Blu-rays and with all the features that they're putting on them. What here's the double feature of Waxwork and Waxwork 2 that I never thought would ever happen, but here it is. I'm holding it in my hands and it's got a feature length documentary on it on the making of both films. So um, apparently the picture quality in Waxwork 2 isn't as good as the first film, but uh, it's better than the DVD regardless, the older DVD that were just VHS rips. And I'm just psyched. I, I can, it's, this is really, really awesome. So, um, and also, speaking of these, apparently, uh, John Lindsay, he uh, pre-ordered, uh, he ended up uh, getting me Blood Diner. So I'm going to get this the other one that I wanted from this series. Thanks to, you know, people like him. And that's really awesome. I, I mean, thank you so much to anyone. Anyone who's ever done anything for me. So, uh, and the rest of this stuff is stuff that I got myself. I could not resist these. I'm a huge Sting fan, so I got the best of Sting, Into the Light. And these ones I might have shown in other videos, but I'm just trying to, I just thought I'd just show them again anyway, because it's wrestling related. Hell in a Cell, NWO, The Revolution. And Hulk Hogan's unreleased collector series. So I have a decently sized wrestling DVD collection now. And uh, the rest of the stuff are all items that I got from buybacks or from Goodwill. These ones still have the stickers on them. I'm going to take them off later. Extreme Prejudice. It's the original Eye of Home video release. Underrated movie, great film, needs a Blu-ray release in the United States. I don't know what's going on with that. The DVD is only a full screen, so um, but I wanted to get it in some capacity because someday I do want to review this. Uh, and it was only 50 cents. I also got this, Sharky's Machine, Burt Reynolds film I've heard about but never seen. I think it was his director debut as well. Pick this one up because I'm a big fan of this. Uh, it's a fun uh, Bill Murray comedy, The Man Who Knew Too Little. It was only like three bucks. It was a dollar. Curse of the Komodo. Only because it was a dollar for whatever Komodo series. I have Komodo, so it would make an interesting double feature with Komodo. These, uh, This is Goodwill stuff. I didn't, I, my, my parents actually paid for these. The Messenger. Story of Joan, the Story of Joan of Arc. Mila Jovovich and uh, Luke Besson, the House of Wax remake, finally in widescreen. You have no idea how hard it was to find this. It's ridiculous. I finally found it at Goodwill. I always, at every, at mo everywhere else I would go, I would find this in full screen. I would not be able to find the widescreen edition for some dumb reason. Low Down Dirty Shame, really underrated fun comedy with uh, Keenan Ivory Wayans. Nothing to Lose with Martin Lawrence and Tim Robbins. Runaway Jury with uh, John Cusack, Gene Hackman, Dustin Hoffman, Rachel Wise. Great cast. I'm surprised I haven't seen that movie yet. Top Dog. It was it was a dollar for the Chuck Norris collection. And these were... I, I didn't check these discs when I got them. I should have done that because I got this for the Michael Keaton collection. Because this is the miniseries he did on TNT. But it's only disc, it's only disc two. So I'm gonna have to find a way to get disc one sometime. And I got this because it was only a dollar, but I didn't check the case. And it only has one disc. It doesn't have the second disc. So now I know why it's a dollar. But the one disc has the ones that I wanted anyway. Like, I kind of got this for the Operation Condor films anyway. So, the one disc that's there has those films on there. The other ones uh, are Project A, Project A2, Super Cop, and Accidental Spy, and it doesn't have that disc. So, yeah, that's, that's it. I, I know it's going to clock in about 20 minutes, but uh, for me, that's that's short. Anyway, thank you for watching uh, this uh, vlog slash channel update um, and uh, DVD Blu-ray update. 
and uh, stay tuned uh, for more reviews and, and more uh, entertainment from yours truly. At least I hope it's entertaining. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys later. See ya.